Gold Gang's coming in, sir. some time off. Rest up do us both good, I expect. What do you want to do? Take the train to Mexico. this storm, y'all won't be working tomorrow, neither. Y'all just be taking it easy. Just my luck they got me working indoors till the day I die. I should learn to walk behind a mule. And I wouldn't be working these days either. Dishing out this child to y'all all day long and all night long. <laughs> Keep my letter in your box. Here's where we're honeymooning at. <laughs> Who's Miss Vernon Waldry? She your gal? Before she ran off and got married. That it? That was two days ago. Never mind, what's it say? Crest now below Memphis, 22,000 refugees safe at Vicksburg, and engineers say the levees will hold. That man gonna bust for sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. What? Keep the boss down, your eyes open. I ain't going nowhere. I only got nine more years to serve. 
I got 199 years, and any chance I got to run, I'm gonna take it.
down. Come on, move. Come on, son. We got things to do here. Right, now. Oh, and that one right there. Eat up, boys. Come first line, you're gonna need all the strength you got. The rivers come through the levee up north. We got folks drowned, or near drowned, all through the bayou. Far down is Natchez. Everybody understand that? Yeah, Captain. Funny business. Now, most of you boys are going to help shore up the levee here. Any of you fellas paddle a boat? Oh, yes, sir. Me and my buddy can. I know all about a boat. That right? You boys handle a skiff? Yes, sir. I growed up on the water. My daddy taught me good. All right. Rest of you boys up on the levee. Let's go, yard man. All right, let's go. Move it up. They've spotted a woman caught up in a cypress snag about a mile straight back in that flooded bayou. And west of that, there's a cotton house with a fella sitting on the ridge pole. You find him. Bring him back. With yourselves included. Yes, sir. You got my word on it. And you? Yes, sir. Go on. Take that skip down there. Where's the cotton house? I don't... Cotton house? 
They told me to pick you up, head west, pick up a fellow on top of a cotton house. I don't know. There's a right smart number of cotton houses around here with plenty of people on them, I reckon. My daddy farms cotton on the Peter Douglas place. And we were all just sitting around the house yesterday or the day before. Whatever day it was, oh, and all this confusion, I just got it all turned around. Mm. You know where we are now? I don't even know where I used to be. I've never seen so much water. Where are you from? Prison farm near Parchment. No, I mean before that. You ever heard of Carrollton? No, ma'am. It's a town nearest to where our farm is. Of course, you wouldn't call it much of a town. But me and my husband, we used to go there every Saturday. Before he run off and left me, Daddy always said he was no good. I guess he was right about that. Are we lost? Uh... What they put you in jail for? Don't worry. Killed nobody, nothing. How long you in for? Got nine more years. Mercy. Nine years. That's a long time. We better find someplace soon. Don't I know it? First man on a cotton house, and you in a tree. Now that thing in your lap. Well, it wasn't due yet. Maybe it was having to climb that tree quick last night and having to spend all night in it. So which way you think? Ask the boat. I've been in it since breakfast. I ain't never known where I aim to go or where I come from. Well, I've got some matches. If we can just... Find a place. I got to find a man on the cotton house. We are miles away from there by now. Probably closer to Vicksburg. Besides, I've been in a tree since last night, and you've been rowing all day. I first got to find a man on the cotton house. Hold on. I'll do the best I can. I didn't try nothing. I swear. I got knocked out the boat, I tell you. You can tell your lies to the warden. Sir? 
We found him on the levee trying to escape. That so? No, sir. Well, found, yes, yeah, but trying to escape, no. Well, what were you trying to do if you wasn't trying to run away? You don't understand, sir. I got knocked off the boat you sent me out on, then another boat come along, picked me up, and took me back to the levee. And, and there's so many people there, I got lost. And, uh, well, what happened to your buddy? He get lost, too? I don't know. I want the truth. I'm telling you the truth, sir. Last time I seen him, he was in the water, and he can't swim. Put him to work. Yes, sir. We got squads working up and down the river. They got orders for what to do if the convicts try to escape. I appreciate that, Major, but I've never lost a man yet and don't plan to start now. Well, if we were getting anywhere near Vicksburg, we'd see some light, wouldn't we? I haven't seen a single light. I can hardly make you out. <sighs> well, excuse me for talking so much. Daddy says I always did talk too much. My Lord, Daddy, I said, somebody's got to talk around here. You barely say good morning or good night. Oh, Mama used to talk. Well, she doesn't talk a lot either now. Leave her alone, she said. Just leave her alone. Let her talk all she wants. Oh, she'll be quiet like the rest of us soon enough. What's that sound? Sound like old man. Get down! Down. That's a convict. He's going to draw attention to us, and I sure ain't going back to no penitentiary. Go on now. Stay away from here. What is that town near here? We got to get to some place. I ain't taking on no convict. I got sent out in this year's skiff. Pick this woman up and a man on a cotton house. Only I got my bearings lost. Then these floods took us over. Uh-huh. Well, you, you just you just keep on going and don't bother us. Mister, I don't aim to bother nobody. Well, then don't argue with me and go. I don't aim to argue. Well, what do you think you do? How much time you got? It ain't due till next month. But on account of all this excitement, we got to take them on. No, we don't. I say we do. You, uh, you get off them convict clothes, we'll take you on. Mister, I can't do that. All right, then. Shove off. Somewhere. 
I'll be all right. That's all right. Huh? Go on on your raggy boat now, anyway. We'll be all right. We'll just be fine. see land up ahead. How far will I have to walk? You stay put. I go get help. No. I need, I need the can. Bring me the can from the boat. No, no, no. No, cut the cord. Cut the cord. The cord needs cutting. Tie it off first. Shoelace. Shoelace, okay. Oh, it's okay. That's right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Hurry. Huh. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna take my purse, it's by the side. That's it, now open it up. Open it up. Okay, pull it out. Okay, right there, pull that apart. 
Oh, that part, yeah. I need a fire. Oh. Okay. Go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wall is about ready. Thank you. Go! I found a drowned rabbit. I'll to cook it. You care for any? No, there's one more thing. I took this off before. I need you to tear it. Yeah. Tear it? Mm. Into strips. I bet you wouldn't have come to rescue me if you knew you were going to find somebody. Oh, yeah. You knew you were going to find somebody about to have a baby. But they didn't tell you that. No. Nope. They just said you'll find a woman in a tree. I bet if you could, you'd turn that boat around and leave me sitting there. Well, I didn't. No. No, you didn't. They're rats. Rats. They're not rats. They're snakes. Be a lot of critters on here with us, I expect. Reckon be best you sleep in the boat. Should I leave it today? I reckon, unless you fix to have another one this morning. No, sir. I'm not fixing to do that. Yeah. Oh. Will you hold it, please?
It's all right now. It's all right now. It's all right. I need to lay up a, a little while longer. So maybe we can go tomorrow. Is that fine with you? Oh. You rest. I will get us some food. Heat up some more water. Sir? Looks like he's gone, sir. Gone? Well, there's no sign of him. No boat come back. Woman he went looking for never showed up. <clears throat> sir? Could be he drowned. That plump convict friend of his swore he couldn't swim. Never lost a man all these years. Could be drowned trying to save a life with that poor woman. All I mean is, I'd make him a hero now, wouldn't it? A thing like that bound to bring a high distinction to your office. You think? Oh, yes, sir. Bound to. Hero, huh? I dreamt last night I was back at the farm. Yeah, my daddy and everybody was there to hear about my trip. And their eyes were just popping out of their heads listening to all I had to tell. It ain't over yet. I was gonna name him Rosita Marie. Not anymore, <laughs> I reckon. No. I was thinking last night of Gifford and Patterson. Maybe Gerard. Hmm? Gerard, a good name. More to stew here, you kept any? I think I'm full. I think rested enough if you want to get on today. Did you sleep much in that mud? 
mean, every time I, I woke up, you were, you were tossing one way or another. Have me a dream, too. What about? John Henry. Well, who's John Henry? He's the name of the mule they give me the plow with back at Parchment Farm. Nobody allowed to work with John Henry but me the last five years. Let me name him, too. Well, what happened in your dream? Hard to make sense of, really. It don't matter. See, my were back at the bunkhouse at Parchment Farm. It was cold. I was trying to pull the covers up over my head. The old John Henry wouldn't let me. He kept pulling the covers down and he tried to get in bed with me. I'd try to get out. He wouldn't let me. Had my belt by his teeth. He jerking, shoving me back in the bed. I woke up. I was in two foot of mud. My. It was some dream. Well, as soon as we shove off, as soon as you get back to your farm. never got around to it. Hmm. Maybe me and the baby will be baptized at the same time. <sighs> when we get home,
Run a little rough, Captain. I know that. I hear it, Alvin. I got ears. You got this channel figured? Yes, sir. There's another two, Captain. A man and a woman on a skiff. Let me see those. Lord, I'm already overcrowded. Uh, you don't look too healthy, sir. Where are you from? No. Past Vicksburg? Vicksburg? Well, you're off part of Mississippi. This here's the Atchafalaya in Louisiana. Louisiana? You ever heard of Carrollton? That's where I'm from. No, you just let me come back on the farm. Carrollton! Look, never mind. Just stay alongside and come aboard, yeah? Will you take my boat? No, I won't take your boat. If I took every sardine can, you must rats wanted me to, I wouldn't even have room forward for a lead man. Now, come aboard if you want to, but I can't hang here on stern engines any longer. You got a little baby in the boat, Captain. May need a doctor. Where are you trying to get to? Red Cross camp near Corral. You say Carhaven? We're headed that way. Sir, I can't come with you without my boat. Oh, well, hang on. All right, you, you can come along. Take my boat? Yes, yes, we'll tow the boat. Hey, look, don't take all day. Yeah, we, we're burning fuel just talking to you. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. days? Two, sir. You deliver it? Help bring it into the world, that is. The baby. No, sir. It come in all by itself. I just cut that... Whatever that is there and tied it off. Let us see. Well, you both could do with a little cleaning up. How long you had those on? Down in Carnarvon, you'll stop, won't you? Do you think I'm running a streetcar? How many trips have we made back and forth picking up what you call mushrat? Ah, uh, lost count. So have I. But isn't this the first time we've had two people who knew the name of some place they were going to and were trying to get there? I suppose. All right, then let's help them. Look, 
Carnarvon's not so far down the river. They've taken a terrible beating, and there's no need for them to go all the way to New Orleans with a two-day-old baby. All right. Rub them off. Good. I don't know. They're foreigners of some kind. I, I can't understand a word they're saying. Do you? No. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Mm. I suggest you stay out of sight of the captain. Yes, sir. You can always go down below later. It's warmer. I'll stay up here, keep an eye on my boat. <sighs> I'm sure glad you're here with me. Now, all I mean is, I don't know where I'd be. If you didn't kill nobody, what'd they put you in jail for? Rob a train. You did? Well, more like tried to. You're a train robber? I was a fool. What'd you do before that? Before you did what you did. Farm cotton. A few hogs. You got your own place? My daddy and I worked a place. He dead now, but my brother and his wife still work it. You think you'll ever go back to it? Hard to say. Yeah. 
better start getting yourself ready. Coming into Carnarvon. Carnarvon? Mm-hmm. We're... Oh. We're headed south now. That's right. On the Mississippi now. Another day be in New Orleans, but no point in going all that way if we want off in Carnarvon. You mean you're not going to Carnarvon? This boat is stopping at Carnarvon because I asked for it to, because I thought you wanted to go there. I should have known better than a trusted convict. I did you a big favor telling the captain what I did. I don't like lying. No, we said Carl. I don't mean to lie. This boat is going all the way to New Orleans. I don't want to go there. So you don't plan to go to New Orleans. You don't exactly plan to go to Carnarvon. But you would take Carnarvon in preference to going all the way to New Orleans. No, we are going to Carlton. We just heard you wrong. Oh, is that so? Well, if you were in doubt about where this boat was going, why didn't you ask me before? Oh, no, you can't do that, can you? No. Asking a question is asking a favor. And you don't ask favors of strangers. Oh, I know all about you, my friend. I've been studying you and your kind for as long as I can remember. You think you can do anything, don't you? Bring babies into the world. Ride up and down floods in a skiff. Captain, we'll put those three new passengers ashore here. It's all swamp out there. I do believe that's where they belong. What's he saying? I don't know. S'il vous plaît, envenez, envenez. He jabbers like them people on the boat. Envenez tout de suite. How to do? On va cuire souper ce soir, grand bon poisson. How to do? C'est bien, c'est bien. Voici, on va faire dîner. He sounds friendly. Voilà, madame, ma maison ici. Keeps pointing inside his house. Envenez, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Envenez, c'est bon. Yeah. yeah, he wants us to come in. I mean, if you don't mind, I'd like to be in some place other than this boat. All right. C'est bon, c'est bon. Bien plus Oh, c'est chaud. Oh, c'est très chaud. Oh, yes, sir, it's hot. All right. It's hot as fuck. Hey, look at that. Must be hunts around here. No, maybe what we eat. 
Voila, Joe Prema. See you, Buple. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I wonder what he's doing with all that. Will you come to the house with me this evening, Monsieur? For a good lunch, we'll have a good chance. I think he wants you to go with him. Where are you going? Well, good lunch if you want to come with me. Let's go. I'll be back. I reckon. On va aller ici dans mon bateau, là, sir. I go with you. On va ici, là, dans mon bateau. On va avoir une bonne chance, tu vois? C'est une bonne lune, ce soir. All right. T'es mon ami. L'année passée, j'ai entraîné ces gros, gros alligators, là. Il avait 20 pieds de long. Sirez-moi, sirez-moi. Don't tell me a lie. Ah, j'ai pu vous dire, ma chère. Il avait 20 pieds de long. Ça peut dire. Tu prends une grosse bétaille. Yeah, uh -huh. On a essayé de la viande pour un mois. Ah, oh, c'était la belle bétaille. That's right. Ah oh, oui, ça peut dire. Ça peut dire. Là, tu es. Mm -hmm. Oh, mais ça peut être ça. Oh, mais ça peut être ça. Voilà, pas les yeux. Tu vois les yeux rouges? Oh, oui, c'est là. That's crazy. Oui, c'est là. C'est là, oui. Il est mauvais. Il est mauvais. Ah, attention. It's a big one. 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 No, no, no. 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 Mets-toi à côté, mets-toi à côté. Bon, 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 mon ami, la bon, bon. Parce que la bon Dieu, quoi, il va en faire. Il va en faire. C'est incroyable, c'est incroyable. Pull it all the way up. That's it. Oh, Nelly, I'll have down there. Bring me that other down. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Good idea. That's it. Here you go. Good. Don't tip. You're tipping it. That's too much. Yours sincerely? No. Yours truly. And so on. State of Mississippi, brave contributions. Excuse me, I sir. I believe the... Major asked me to come by for a document you want to deliver to the governor's I'll office. I'll be sir. right with you, son. Yes, sir. Uh, he lost his life. Uh, let's see. For heroic deeds beyond the... In the great flood of 1927. Now that, my friend, is a fine touch. <laughs> great flood. Gonna make your hair stand on end, don't it? Oh, yes, sir. I do believe this boy is bound for glory. Ça, c'est un bel chat, madame Nye. Comme ça, elle est incroyable. Il a sauté à côté de la pirogue. Il a attrapé cet alligator. Il a culbuté. Comme ça, comme ça. Il a culbuté. Il a attrapé par les pattes derrière. Il a tiendé. Il a attrapé avec le couteau. Il a fait avec le couteau. Il a tenté plus qu'un couteau. Il a corco bien. Bon là, bon là. Il a... Juste comme ça, mon ami, s'il vous plaît. Comme ça. Et quand il a culbuté deux ou trois fois, bord gauche, bord droit. Ah, c'était magnifique, mon ami. Ah, c'était beaucoup bon. Donc, ça a lutté l'indicateur. Il a pris un coup de couteau. Il a pris un coup de couteau. En la main, deux fois. Prenez lui tout seul. Il a côté mon là. Il a attrapé le feu l'indicateur. Lui tout seul. Ah oui. Ah, c'était magnifique. 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 Ça, c'était bon, mon ami. Ah, c'est magnifique, mon ami. Voilà. 
Voilà, mon ami, du linge propre. Ça, c'est pour vous. Ça, c'est pour vous, maître. Ça, c'est pour vous. Is your clothes? C'est pour vous. Tell me where your clothes. Oui, mon ami. Ça vous pense. Vous pensez bon? On va être des amis. On va être pas de On va aller faire des grandes chasses d'alligatier. On va attraper des grands, plus grands que ça. Grand. Oh, plus grands que Big ça. Grand. Oh, si grands que la pirogue. Moi et vous, on peut faire un bon grand chat. Quitte ici tout de suite. La grande taupe peut venir. On ramasse tout besoin puis aux en allant. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je ne sais pas. Ils look scared. Madame, c'est l'heure à partir. C'est pas possible de rester ici. Faut un quitte ici de la maison. Oh, what in the world is the matter? Et boom, boom, là, casser la levée. Tu peux plus rester ici. C'est pas possible. Allons en aller. What is he trying to tell us? I think he wants us to go with him. I don't want to go, not yet. Ça, Listen, pour vous. I want to stay right here. Ça, I want to part. stay here. Ça, c'est pour vous. Ça, c'est votre part. Et ça, c'est pour moi. Ça, c'est pour vous. I believe he's dividing his hides up. Ça, c'est pour moi. Me half. Ça, c'est votre But part. Thank you. Thank you, mister. Un plaisir, mais pour vous ramasser, lui, et l'enfant, et pour vous en aller. La grande taupe pour we're venir. Gonna, we're gonna stay on va here. tout noyer. We're, we're gonna stay here. C'est pas possible, monsieur. You go on, you go on, Alors, and then we're gonna stay here. C'est pas possible, madame. Faut en quitter. Ramasse l'enfant, okay. s'il vous plaît. There must be an emergency La grande taupe est venue. Whatever it is, we already gone through it. Mm. Dieu, quand même, ça c'est triste, quand même. Ils sont contents pas. Madame, ramasse l'enfant. Et puis allons en aller. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. C'est pas possible pour vous être ici. La grande cop est venue. Assez-vous de suite, monsieur. Bon va. Good luck, mister. I wish I knew where he sold them hides. I'll give me a few more hides. I reckon we can find us a boat. Go anywhere we want on this old river. Anywhere at all.
What are you saying? I don't understand. Oh, you speak English, huh? Oh, well, what's the matter? The old rivers done got so high they got the blood levy up to save New Orleans. You got any uh, personal items you can't live without? No. Yes, just one. Wrap that baby up good. How about a husband? You got one of them around someplace? No, uh, um, what, um, He's just gone out. Kira, que can she? On fait un petit. How about that body? That body? Ils sont pas ici. Why didn't you come out this morning like everybody else? Out. I got no time for trips. I got work to do. He says they're gonna blow up the levee so the river don't flood New Orleans. I don't care if it flood the whole country. You coming with us, mister. There's two ways of doing it. Easy way and a hard way. The only place I'm going right here. I want my hides and my boat. Forget your hides. We got no room for hides. All right. All right. But please, sir, you got to let him keep his boat. It may matter something awful to him. All right, we'll tow your boat. Come on, let's go. You're going to New Orleans whether you like it or not.
see that baby. I'm sorry, sir. I, I was worried the child just looked so small. Oh, well, he's newborn. Well, is he now? Mm -hmm. May I see him? I'll go look for my friend. Maybe there's people here, too. Yes, sir. I read real good, son. Bet your daddy taught you that, too, huh? Along with them boat skills and what all. <laughs> Looks like your partner got himself free like you were aiming to and wound up a state hero, too. See there? He's going to get himself a citation from the governor of the great state of Mississippi. Well, sir, if that's free, he can have it. Me, I'll take him 10 years. You tacked on to my time any day of the week. You watch your mouth, mister. I'll tack on 10 more. Come to think of it, that'll make you pretty darn old by the time you got out. About 251 years, so. I don't have a lot of time. I got some French ones over here. There you go. Thank you, sir. I'll get you back up, River. New Orleans, Louisiana. My. That's furthest away from home I ever planned on going. I was just thinking, I don't think I'll ever get back home. It just seems we get further and further away. Not even in Mississippi anymore. Next thing you know, we'll be in Texas. My daddy, my daddy, he had a brother left home for Texas. And my daddy said... I'll carry you back. I'll get you back. I said I would. I will. Well, I feel sure you will. Wouldn't it be funny if our friend had been there in the armory? If you found him, he said he'd show you how to build a house in the swamp. And we could stay there, and you could hunt. 
and you would never have to go back. Hmm. I was 19 years old when I tried to rob that train. Read in a detective magazine about doing it. Thought I knew all about it. I sold subscriptions for folks living around me to get money to buy a pistol, lantern, mask like the war in the stories. Come time, lantern went out. Handkerchief done there choked me. Never even got to go through the coaches and collect the rings and gold watches. Caught me as soon as I set foot inside the express car. Caught me. Yeah. They set me for a judge. Give me 20 years. I done served 11. Got nine more to do. I don't know how to ever thank you for rescuing me and for all the kindness that you've shown me, my baby. I just done what they asked me to, what I said I would. I know that. I do. Sir, I think you better take a look and see. Heaven, tell me it ain't what I think. I think it is, sir. He ain't drowned. And he come back with the woman and the boat. Lord have mercy, tell me I'm dreaming. I do believe we got ourselves a situation. You, go get him. Sir. You, out. Over yonder, your boat, sir. Just yell the woman you sent me for, but I never did see that fellow on the cotton house. Get in that truck. Ma'am. Wait, 
He got me off that tree, like he said. Then he helped bring little Gerard into the world and saved our lives till New Orleans. Well, maybe so, but he's supposed to be dead. Move out! I was finally sent that citation they promised. Seems to me you should have taken the complication out of all this when you had the chance. Could have solved our problem. Sir? You saw him coming up that road, didn't you? Well, yes, sir. Then why didn't you shoot him on sight? Shoot him? Well, you can't go shoot no government hero. At least I can't. I'm only a deputy. Well, he didn't drown. And he didn't try to escape. Where does that leave us? Well, our rights, we don't know, sir. It's the trouble with convicts, least likely ones always end up doing what you don't expect and spoiling things for everybody else. I need all that cleaned up for fun now. Oh, keep swinging. Hey, Get on It's my brother out in the wagon. I told him to come in, but he wouldn't. He said he was scared of convicts. I told him there's nothing to be scared of. Well, you, should, you should have seen his face and, and Mama's face and Daddy's when I walked up the road with the baby. Holy God, Mama said. It's a miracle. My baby girl's alive and home. <sighs> God, I'm talking too much again. Don't, don't, I don't mind. You sure? It tends to bother an awful lot of people. Not me. Go on, talk as much as you want. Finish up what you got to say. This man has to get back out to the field. You want to hold the baby? Oh, you're getting heavy now. Well, he remembers 
miss you. <laughs> He's kind of a mess, isn't he? So how much longer you got now? Eight years, nine months, seven days. I guess that's not so long. Be fair while yet. No. It's not so long. Dans la terre, après tout. 